Hey, Ma! Let's get these cut. After doing a lot of pine cone crafts, I think I've come up with the easiest and fastest way of getting them cut into flowers. My first thing that I do is use loppers like I'm doing here. I cut them up. I don't pay too much attention to how neat it is or anything like that. I used to try to make them as even as possible. And, and trust me, you're, you're just wasting your time. Considering the frustration level at trying to do that for an, a thing that is literally free and in abundance outside of my yard that's not worth it for me all i'm really trying to do here is cut them into smaller pieces at about the halfway mark so i have this and i'm going to cut it so it looks like that nice little circle so this is how i clean it up just go around the side like that create a nice little ball in the middle yeah. Feel free to get aggressive because, you know, they're free. You're recycling a product, so if you don't like how it looks like this, just keep on cutting until it's something closer to what you want. But see, look, when I cut them, sometimes they look crazy like this. But that's fine because it's just because it's a spiral. And if you look at how they grow, it's a spiral. And there's no way you can really get it completely, you know, flat how you want it right so I just like to do that to get basically it's split and then I go around like this and I get all the near scales off and if you've seen some of my other crafts I do save these scales in a, um, a gallon size plastic bag and then when I want to do a craft for them uh, I have them all saved up. So nothing goes to waste, really. I see. That's how I do that. And then this side is like this. These ones usually come out pretty good. So you don't have to do much. And that's how that looks. Right? I might cut off the end here, the tip, but that's basically that. So, so sometimes you cut it and it looks like this. And again, you just go around. Cut all these off. Yeah, just do it in layers because like I said, it's a spiral. So you can just keep going around until you get it to the depth that you want. And then you could kind of pick and choose, you know, which scales to cut off. Any, any ones that look frayed like that, any ones that are not even, you know, like they're sticking out too proudly. And you can keep on going down and just round this off, make it look like a the middle portion. And you just keep on going around until it's to the depth that you want. See, like over here, I would clean this up a little bit. Yeah. And this is a little too prominent on that side. So just give it a trim. And these are very easy to, to um, for people who have arthritis and things like that. These uh, came from Dollar Tree and it's they're, they're very easy to use. So for a dollar, honestly, they're, they're sharp for a dollar. Um, I also have these from Dollar Tree that I can use if I have any problems. And I have, for small cuts, this one. If I have to get in there or something like that, I don't really bother too much with that. It's it's nothing you'll see. But if I wanted to, if I wanted to do something very, very close, I can use this, you know. If I wanted to kind of cut these off or something. I can use these. To shape it. You know, fine tune it. But again, most of the time, I use the loppers to get them basically split. And then, um, you know, I'm just watching TV and I just go through them and, 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 and sculpt them how I want them to look. And that's how you make a pine cone flower. Well, another way. That's another way to make a pine cone flower. I 
have a garbage bag full of pine cones that I picked up and there's more out there. I've been promising my mother I was going to get them all up. Uh, our yard people want to charge $50 per person to do that. So that gives you a little idea of how many pine cones are out there. Um, I use the, another thing you can get from the dollar store is one of those, those grab, those long grabby kind of like pincher things. And that's what I use so you're not constantly bending over and picking them up. And I just kind of drag a box or, or a, a bag around with me and I just fill it up with the pine cones. Sort of like those people who pick up the stuff on the side of the road. Yeah, I use one of those. And I just go around the yard picking up pine cones and um, put them in a garbage bag and I spray them uh, with bug spray and I seal the bag and leave it there for a couple days. So because I can't be bothered. You know, uh, people, you can cook these to uh, kind of kill any bugs that might be in them, but that's just, I don't want that in the oven. And nobody does, so uh, we don't do that here. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.